Last week, we installed the gray water system for the kitchen, started our conversion of the bathroom vanity, and Karen and Ellie took off to the mountains to rebuild the cabin. Stay tuned as we continue our progress on the additions to the main house and get started on the cabin site. So now that the gray water pipes are in, we need to now cover them up and start thinking about our electricity and plumbing for the rest of it. Fill this big ditch in right now, and then we'll be running our plumbing and stuff as soon as uh, Shell gets back from the store. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I got sand in my back. Oh, sand. I'm attaching the leg extensions to bring the vanity up to counter height. Oh yeah. So it's done. And this will take us up another seven inches and another seven inches with the backslash. Moving over these two. All right, we made it. Got stuck a couple <laughs> times. We're all kind of partly set up. I think it's gonna sink, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's pretty muddy up here, which is why we got stuck. Hopefully we don't get eaten by wolves. <laughs> All right, day one, uh, we, we lived through the night, so. No wolves, got us. No wolves. Getting up here was a bit interesting. We got stuck a few times. It was really muddy, but we made it. Man. Our little tiny pickup truck pulled out the big one in the trailer. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to finally be up here working on this piece of land and building. It's so beautiful up here. It's exciting to get working on the project and stuff too. This is what's left of our old failed project, if you will. It's pretty rough. We were trying to dome it, so we didn't know you needed to use cement in it. So it came down because you need the cement to settle and harden so you can get that nice dome in a safe manner without it blowing out on the sides. We already have a lot of the pieces though, like doors and windows are already built. And these window frames, I think are gonna be okay. Uh, they don't look rotted or anything. They just look kind of sun beaten. We already have our door frames in. So really the hardest part about this is gonna be actually tearing out this old bag material. There's a lot of dirt here and these bags are, they're real hard to take down. So that's gonna be the hardest part. That's gonna be, in the near future, we're gonna have to do some other stuff first, like get a um, outhouse situation figured out. Not quite sure what we're gonna do on that yet. I'm gonna have to do some research online and figure out what the best way is gonna be for us. Dude, you got yourself stuck. Fixed. First part to the crappy wall out. This is the best crappy wall I ever did see in my entire life. You see my stack of Portland cement? But this is all the cement that's gonna go down for our floor inside. We're gonna stack it on the window seal, get it halfway over there, so. time for me to start on getting the sink to set in there and I have a little bit of work to do there but it shouldn't be too hard. Cutting in uh, two cross members to help support the center of the decking so that the sink doesn't weigh it down and push it down. I've went ahead and put in my cross bracing here to help give the actual sink some more support inside here. I've reattached and cut the drawer off and reattached the facing to the front of, of the piece and um, Got it all clamped on for now so the glue fits nice and it'll be all set up and ready for tomorrow. So we can cut a hole in it and drop a sink. We are getting ready to put in our outhouse. We gotta figure out where it's gonna set. The walkway is like right through here, doors like right here. I've done some research and it looks like people stay between the four and six foot marks deep, three and a half by five to four foot by four foot square. Okay, there's my perfect square. In the winter too, when we're up here, heard some good tips about how to keep the toilet seat warm. And one of them is just taking the toilet seat off and taking it with you inside. <laughs> Others were, you know, lighting a little oil lamp in here to keep it toastier. I'm liking the toilet seat idea. Less power, and seeing as we're out on solar here, kind of makes sense for us, you know? You want to be able to sit down and be toasty, you know, when you're relieving yourself. I just kind of want to get in and get out. 
Sometimes you're just sitting there to get away. <laughs> Not from you, babe. It's from the outside stuff mm -hmm. in the world. Coming along, there's a lot of uh, clay and rock that we're running into. So, oh, but the deeper we go, the longer the outhouse will last. We are a little bit further down now. Elle's working hard. I'm doing nothing. We have a pretty massive rock here that we're having to try and hoist out. So we got our come along. Hopefully we can pull it out of there, but we'll see. At least it's a big chain holding this whole thing up so we don't have to worry about that breaking. Oh boy. <laughs> and meal tape. Lovely. I'm gonna reposition the rock with my family strength. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you are so strong. <laughs> Good for you, babe. All this working out I do, buffing up. Seems to be moving. We did get it out though, as you can see. I had to stop filming because I had to help and uh, success on our massive, massive rock. Oh yeah. Booyah! We got the hole done. Now we just gotta put kind of a frame around the inside of the hole so it doesn't cave in and we can finally build the structure on top so that we have a outhouse that's hopefully functional. to get this freed up so that we can tap it off and connect to it. Of needing to need our sink, so we can't just disable our sink. So we have to keep the thing going while we're putting in the rest. Plus, this is also the water that goes out to the entire house. If we cut it off, it'd be a problem. So we have to do this in one swift movement of done, and an hour later have our water back. Gotcha. Okay, our goal is to put the water in, the electricity, stub it all off, and still have water to the rest of the house. I was trying to help Bryson. Hey, it was a good effort. And I put the tea in upside down. So luckily Bryson was smart enough to bring an extra tea so that we can fix my right. unhelpfulness. We're good. So I just wasted that piece. Hey, it's still enjoyable. One more connection left, and over here, we're done. Think so? Sweet. Hot and cold, it's looking good. No leaks! I'm running a wire to the island of the kitchen, just the normal plugs, and then another wire for the oven, which will be over here. Top of these guys, so we'll be all right. Serious oven wire, as I may say myself. Cutting the pieces now to put our uh, our little bit of. Steampunkish to it, I guess, to kind of match the shower and will match eventually the cabinets. And that's the fancy splash guard that. Oh, yeah. like this. And that's kind of a little bit of the look. There it is, all pieced together without the mirror. Caulking right here, someplace right in here. Is, this is half the distance, the other half of the distance is up here. So it sands at about six feet, which is just underneath those lights. It will all fit together very nicely. And the sink will be right here, and a little faucet right here that'll come up and over. Yeah, I wanna go ahead then and use this material, which is a flashing material. It'll work perfect for this. It just needs for balance, it just needs to be there. Yeah. I'm liking that idea, Gary. Good. You just made it all nice and pretty with the stain and all, but I am, now I'm thinking of going, no, we should add that. I agree. It looks so nice. Now that's the ticket. That is the ticket. All right, that part's done. We're gonna put four posts 
at every corner. We're just gonna put them there so that we have something to attach a sheet of plywood to. That's just gonna be the retaining wall. We're using pieces of pine because uh, uh, we're trying to save money on like four by fours and stuff and these are just gonna basically rot out eventually in the ground. They're not really holding anything at all except the box together. Coming together. The final piece. <laughs> Boom. Oh yeah. Dang, this thing is so square. Like, I mean, as far as squares go, this is one of them. <laughs> we do good work, babe. What can I say? Which way is the top? Um, side that we have. Can we just spin it? Fits like a glove. The box didn't quite fit. It's close. Not close enough. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you push this down. Oh down. Getting our four pieces cut here. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. My dad taught me. <laughs> All right. Put the floor in our outhouse. So exciting. Party. Pretty solid. You don't want to fall through this thing, that's for sure. No. A little leveling and some walls. We got a toilet. Okay. Can I bring that dirt in from that pile? I know it's a little bit sandy, but. No, that, that's fine. Sandy's actually better. In this Before place. we can do the soil cement floor, we're going to have to add about seven inches of dirt. In there, right, Che? Yeah. But we can't just dump it in there, so we have to haul it from over there to here and painfully scoop in there. At the top of that level there, we gotta get, to, I'll show you where, where it needs to go. Do we wanna know? Or will the we level be, has to be We here. might be miserable. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Oh, the bottom of the thing? This level, right here. Does that look fun, Chip? But actually, probably an inch lower, so somewhere around there. Hey, you wanna help us out? <laughs> <laughs> I got places to be, I hope it's not a fire, guys, that's <laughs> Good. Excuse me, that was my scoop, not your scoop. We're not working quick enough. Giant shovel. Oh yeah. It's really the only good thing a snow shovel is used for out here in the desert. Dirt. <laughs> so because of how long it is taking us to get the dirt in, because we have to pass it through the window, we have to both load it in and load it back out and then spread it out. Um, our goal this week is going to be to complete the dirt in here and then do the soil cement floor next week. That's level there. Do you even know where? So it has to go down an inch. So actually, it needs to go right there. Look how far we've come up on the wall. So feel encouraged. It's happening. I feel Yay. like we're putting it into the kitchen abyss. It doesn't look like a lot, but I mean, we probably hauled over a ton of dirt. In last night's stream, we played Fortnite together. We talked about how much we really, really wanted to get Taco mm -hmm. Bell. So we zoomed off to Taco Bell. We get there a half hour before they close. I'm like, okay, can I have 24 soft tacos? Uh, I'm sorry, did you say 24 tacos? We feel really bad that we've asked for this really big order like a half hour before they leave. You gave them some tip and she was like, she closes the window. She's like, oh my gosh, we got a tip. So we made their night and, and ruined their night all in one excessive thing. She That's just, right, the three of us ate 24 tacos. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, that was our evening. That was a really fun stream and yep. an ace way to finish off the day. Cause it was pretty awesome. Tacos, come on. It, that's just a great day. We even You're like, making that smell really good. I have to go get one now. <laughs> do not doubt our commitment. <laughs> go food. big or go home, all right? Oh, that's a, uh, my we made it! Dirt. <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Is that hey. a four letter word? D-I-R-T? <laughs> yep, four letter word. <laughs> I think we're done, hey guys? It looks really good. It looks like we did nothing though, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you think about it, there used to be a bumper thing right there, which is now missing. If you would like to catch one of those streams, we stream five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday Ooh. at 5 p.m. Pacific to 8 p.m. Pacific over on our Twitch channel. There'll be a link down in the description. Ooh. We do all kinds of gaming stuff. Right, yeah, dabs. Only ads, but right. dabs. Thank you for listening to our taco story. Goodbye. <laughs> We'd love to have you out, uh, so check that out. How many calories did I burn? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
measure out and cut the hole for the sink itself. Don't you hate to cut that out? Yeah, I do, but it is just necessary. <gasps> Way there. Yeah, I'm liking that. That does it for me. This is an interesting piece. It's fun to look at. Together the walls for our outhouse. Here we go. Wall numero uno. Looks oh, like an outhouse. All right, we got the walls up. Where's the plywood up? Doors going on the front. Oh, that's a little snug. It's uh, it fits perfectly, as you can tell. Does that feel? That feel good, hon? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fall in though. <laughs> All right, a little bit of sheeting on there. Missing something. Yep. We just need a toilet seat, which we built this a while back, and I think this is where we're gonna rob the toilet seat from. I think we're gonna take the toilet paper holder too, you know, just cause it seems right. Oh, just put in the. Looking good. Time to cut the hole. Look how nice that looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, now it's an outhouse. Actually, it's fully functional at this point, too. There's only one slight issue. If it's raining, you're going to get a little wet. Look at that. At this point now, we're, we're, we're all settled in now. We got all our animals put together. The trailer's put together. Our outhouse is functional, which is Pardon. important. It's nice. Feels like home now. Mm-hmm. up this week so we just want to say thank you for all the wonderful slogan ideas that, and suggestions that you gave yeah thanks so much for submitting it it was awesome all of them it's so creative you're so creative oh my goodness we are really looking forward to really getting in there and studying them and seeing what comes out of it oh no you're not putting another hole in this are you oh yeah and I'm out of juice <laughs> that finishes it up this week. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed in the bathroom next week. Stay tuned for next week as we continue working on the kitchen and bathroom additions. Uh, we will be back again next Friday. Thanks so much for being here, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Both of the kitties, yeah? Hi, Boo. Hang on. This is impressive. Isn't it impressive? Look at us work. Am I impressive now? Oh, oh. Hi, hi. His work I impress so. you, don't I? I get my fingers in the way. <laughs> Both my fingers. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.
feel like there's a good pun to go here. Insert brief saying a uh, good pun. Okay. To test the true strength of mule tape, we're gonna be running this quick test. Don't do this unless you're a professional and wearing safety goggles. <laughs> yep. Isn't that comfortable? Thank you so. That's very pleasant. That's it. We're we're installing toilet seats in on the kitchen chairs because they like cushion your they butt like and hold you, you in. <laughs> yeah. That is a comfortable throne. Like I could seriously put some time in. 